What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto the ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a dope team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Life Orb Gengar team alongside with Surge Surfer, Alolan Raichu. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. It really does go a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. Anybody who has subscribed to the channel, likes the videos, or just tunes in and watches, all that stuff helps overall me as a content creator. But this team right here was made by my boy Matt. Matt, shout out to you for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. Guys, if you want to drop teams for me, like I said, link to my Instagram is down in the description below, or my name is right below my face cam. Just follow me over on Instagram, DM, and I try to get back to every single person. But we're sitting here. We got this cool team. Let's show it off. Starting off in that top left corner, we have a Alolan Raichu Surge Surfer, which means in Electric Surge, he doubles his speed. I love that ability. It is basically like a weather speed, like Slush Rush or uh, what's the rain one called? I totally forget. A Swift Swim. That's what it's called. Swift Swim, but it's in Electric Surge. Magnet to get that electric typing boost for your damage. Rising Voltage, Psychic both for Stab, Nuzzle for Paralyze, and Fake Out for Flinches. Right next to him is going to be Tapu Koko. Can set that electric surge with his ability. Has the electric seeds for that stat boost. Wild Charge, Acrobats, Nature's Madness, and Protect as his moveset. Middle left is going to be Air Balloon, Intimidate, Arcanine. We have two Intimidate Pokemon on the team, so physical attackers better watch out for these guys. We got Flare Blitz, Close Combat for coverage, will o for burns, and Wild Charge for our final coverage move. Right next to him is going to be our second Intimidate Pokemon with Landris. Choice Scarfs, so we're going to be able to outspeed basically anything in this game. We got EQ and Fly both for Stab, Superpower, and Rock Slide as our coverage moves. Bottom left corner is going to be the heart and soul of this team. Our Life Orb Pokemon, the Pokemon that I haven't used in forever, that is going to be Gengar. Cursed Body and Life Orb as his item. Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb for our stab moves. Then we got Thunder for our coverage and Ally Switch to protect the Ally Pokemon. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I feel like a lot of people love this Pokemon as well. It is super, super strong. It can KO most Pokemon, but it's one flaw is it's a glass cannon, meaning it hits like a truck, it can take out a bunch of Pokemon, but it can't really take a hit. If it takes a hit, it's usually gonna die. So hopefully we get to show him off to his fullest potential and get some KOs with that Pokemon. Final spot on the team is going to Tornadus with the Prankster and that Focus Sash so it can't get one tap. We got Air Slash, Tailwind to get that double speed for the team, Heat Wave for coverage, and Scary Face to lower the opposing Pokemon's speed. Guys, you want to try out the team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Life Orb Gengar and Surge Surfer Alolan Raichu team. It feels good to be playing Pokemon Sword and Shield once again. We haven't played it for about four to five days, considering the Japanese beta for Pokemon Unite was just released over the weekend. It is over now, so if you guys haven't checked out any of that content, we uploaded four videos on the channel. Definitely go check it out. Those videos rock out, and when that game releases in a month, we're going to be pounding out some content, doing live streams on my Twitch page. Link is down in the description below, and we're going to be doing online content right here on the channel. But we're hopping into our first battle here, going up against a Garchomp team alongside with Intimidate and Cinnamore. Drampa, I kind of don't really know what Drampa does. He also has Cresselia. Cresselia can set Trick Room. He can also Ally Switch. He can do all that stuff. He's just sitting there as a support mon. Tapu Fini, Garchomp, like I said, and Tapu Lele for the Surge. Okay, the problem is going to be my lead. So I could go into a Lolan Raichu with the Tapu Koko, but if he goes in with the Lele, then that kind of just uh, unfuzzles everything up. So I think going in with Tornadus, Gengar, just getting that speed boost and getting Gengar into a Dynamax could be really, really well for us. Because Intimidate won't affect us one bit. So I am digging that a lot. Then he could fake us out, but then I, I think we're still sitting decent here. Um, next Pokemon, I think we might just bring in Raichu just for the heck of it. Just have another attacker. Probably Choice Scarf Landorus would be our better call over the uh, Arcanine. Because I, I definitely want to intimidate Pokemon. I might want two. Now we're going to go one, and then I think we're going to go low on Raichu. Let me check his summon real quick. I don't even think we have time. Yeah, we have five seconds left. I am going to go with Raichu over the... Uh, I got that done. I definitely got that uh, click, right? I heard the click. I heard the noise of it, so we better uh, hand it in the scene. But I definitely want the Raichu over the top of Koko, just as an extra attacker in the back end. So we're going to take that one up, and we're going to get after it. Hopefully, we can catch ourselves a win. The boy might be a little rusty, because like I said, four to five days of not playing, it definitely takes a toll on you. It definitely messes with your whole thought process. But let's see who he leads. He's going to end up leading Garchomp and Cresselia. Okay. And I'm going to get out my Gengar and my uh, Tornadus. So he has no fake out here. I can definitely get off an easy tailwind. An easy little tailwind. I can just drop this tailwind, help out the team. Let's see if I brought all my Pokemon, right? Yeah, I got my boys. I got my boys. I could hard swap the Gengar. Gengar wouldn't be a bad hard swap. And I do have G-Max Terror. And what does G-Max Terror do again? I totally forget. 
A ghost type attack that Gigantamax Yango used. This Pokemon steps on the opposing shadow and prevents him. Uh, that's kind of stupid. That's kind of stupid. I'd rather just have a like a non G Max one, you know? I could get after you and just take out Cresselia, no problem, right? I could play. There's no way he goes into a ground move. Let's just see what he does. Because I can get off this Tailwind easily. And then I could swap into my uh my landers. Just for an intimidate onto the ground chomp. But here's G Max Gengar getting to show him off. Hopefully we can pick up a win here. Yo, he looks so dope. He looks so dope. I just wish his G Max move was way better than what it was. Because I, I would honestly rather just have the regular ghost typing effect with it. Which would just be a defense drop. That would be way better than preventing the Pokemon from escaping. Because how often are you really going to use that? You know? G Max Terra comes out. This should be able to do a lot of damage, right? Yep. Take him out. No problem. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Gengar's doing big old damage. But, okay, wait. Does that make Garchomp not be able to swap out? Is that a thing too? Rock Slide's gonna pop. That's gonna be easy eats for the team. Easy eats all day, not stab for him. And we have speed, we're rocking out here. I might go into Intimidate if he brings out a physical attacker. If he brings out that Incineroar, I'm definitely swapping, getting that double Intimidate drop, and then making sure he goes for the fake out onto my lander slot. Top of Finny is gonna come out here. Okay, that's totally fine. Um. What do I do from here? I could Heat Wave. He's going to surge in his favor. So that actually helps us out because his dragon moves are going to be half. So I do dig that. I do dig that a lot. I'm going to go for an Air Slash. I might double up into the Finny slot. Because the Garchomp, I'm not, really, I'm not really too worried about the Garchomp. And we're just going to go for an Ooze. Ooze is Stab. Give us a special attack boost and we will still be faster than everybody in the next turn. Considering we have Tailwind. So I'm digging this. I am digging this. Let's see what he does. He might Dynamax Finny. That might be his play. Yo, Gengar's looking so sick. Yo, he looks like a giant, like, amusement park ride that you, like, walk inside of. Like a giant inflatable. <laughs> Again, I just wish they would have made his G-Max move cool. Let's see what he withdraws. He withdraws to Finny, and he's going to go into who? He going into? He going into Sinor. Okay. Timonade coming out here. I'm going to swap my, my Lando next turn. If, uh, if my, uh... Tornadus doesn't go down. And he's going to Dynamax Garchomp. Hey, you go into a Worm one. I don't mind it. You're going to go into a Ground move. What, what's your plan here? We are oozing here. We should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer, I think. And I think Intimidate next turn is going to be the play. Get out Landers. We have that Raichu in the back, so I'm really not worried about that Tapu uh, Finny. I can just uh, I can just get after him with Electric Loop later in the match. There goes this. Boost comes out here, does some decent damage. Gets a special attack boost. So if we are able to eat this turn, or at least my Gengar, I need my Gengar to be alive this turn, and then we should be sitting fine here. Does that fake out? There goes his Citrus Berry. Air Slash is gonna pop through on him, do a little bit more damage, neglect that berry. That berry health that he just got back. And he has fake out ready to go. So he can fake out whatever Pokemon he wants. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the quick. That's going after Gengar. That means we still should be fine here. We should be able to eat, right? No, it's super effective. I totally forgot it was super effective for some reason. That's big damage. Okay. So he gets that special defense boost. He has fake out Raider Rock. Hmm. That dang Garchomp. Should have got after earlier. Should have got after earlier. But I wasn't too worried about it. I wasn't too worried about it. Uh, we bring out you. We definitely want that Intimidate. Um. Could go for a Worm Wing. Worm Wing could, could be good on his end. And he might just fake. He's going to fake out somebody. What should your boy do? I could swap and then swap again to get off another Intimidate, but I think this one Intimidate is really going to help us out. So Air Slash would be able to take you out, but again, I, I just see the fake out coming in hot. I really want to choice into an EQ, but I can't, right? I really can't. So I think Fly might be the play here. Chop a Fly, see if we can dip out and dodge a turn here. There's the fake out on the who? On to you, okay. That's fine. Flies can come out here. Go after my lander slot. Go after my lander slot. Come on, do it for me. Do it for me. Go after Lando. Nope. Goes after him. That's tough news. So Incineroar is going to be able to go out next turn. And mm, we need him to go after Lando that slot. It's pretty much over here. Pretty much over. We had a strong start to this battle. But then once the Garchomp came in there and took out my Gengar, it was GG's. 
it was GG's from there. Like I said, Fly's gonna be able to take you out, but then Raichu can't really do anything. And I have a fake out. I have a, I have a Nuzzle. Which Nuzzle can't hit him. And he's just gonna drop a Quake. That's tough news. That is tough news. We have to go for it. We have to go for the Psychic. It's our only play. It's our only play because we can't hit him, and Lander's just gonna take that out. But we really needed him to uh, go after my uh, Landers there, but he ended up not. He ended up faking out and doubling into my uh, a Tornadus, and that's going to pick him up the win. I'll pick him up the win. Your boy's coming back, and he's going to start off with a loss. That's tough news for me. Tough news for me. Get the Incineroar out of my game. We don't want him here. We don't want him here. Let's see how he rocks out with this. Quake, right? Well, we outspeed, first of all, which is dandy. Quake. Yep, there's Quake. Quake's going to pick up KO. That's light work. And we're choice to apply. So can we eat somehow? No. No, we cannot. We need that Raichu. We really didn't need that Raichu. And that's gonna be GG's. All dang day. All day, that's GG's. I mean I could fight it out with, with, with a couple flies. I am choice scarf. So I am gonna be able to dodge some moves. <laughs> let's see, let's see how this one plays out. I don't wanna, I don't wanna give up too early. Maybe he misses some attacks. Maybe maybe something happens with there. Do we think he's Sand Veil? He could be. Oh, look, we can't come into an EQ yet. We're choice scarf on the fly. Dang it. So I, I was like, maybe we should try it. At least it's a stab move. But that was one of our last bet, our, our last plays would be to do that. Would be to try to dip out. He's going to go for the Rock Slide. Scald and Rock Slide. It's looking real scary. Looking real scary. They're all taking Buffets. Well, just top with Mini. And he shows his item up Leftovers. That feel was so good, dude. A little half-eaten apple. Give him a bunch of HP. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Here comes my fly. Give us a crit. Give us a crit. Get after him. No crit, but still decent damage. Rock slide connects. Mm, don't like that. Don't like that. We eat, though. Skull's gonna miss. Nope, Skull connects. How much damage is it really doing? Alright. So you're saying there's a chance. Nope, there's not a chance. <laughs> we got burned. <laughs> I was gonna say, yo, we fly up, we take out Garchomp, maybe you miss, and then we rock out from there. But no, we get a burn on, and that's gonna take us out from the burn. And battle number one is gonna go to our opponent. We're gonna start off 0-1, but you guys already know the deal. We're hopping into our second battle, and we're gonna get ourselves a win in that one. Okay, I'm digging it. Going up against an Alakazam team in battle number two. I haven't used Alakazam in forever. Actually, one of my most viewed videos is on Alakazam team, so maybe we should do another one soon. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would like to see that team get popping. But he has the Alakazam alongside with the Ndidi, so I can expect an expanded force from him. He also has the Tapu Koko paired up with that Regilecki. I can expect the Electric Surge, so that's going to actually benefit our side because we have two Electric Surge Pokemon ourselves. Then he has the Urshfu and the Rain Pelipper. Set the rain or weather control with the Pelipper, and I don't think he's gonna bring the Pelipper. Actually, he might just so Thunder could hit 100% of the time. That might be his play. But I'm gonna go into my Tapu Koko and I'm gonna go into Raichu. Or actually, should I not go into Tapu Koko and maybe lead Landorus? I want to hit Check Summary because he could change up uh, terrain. Which I really don't like. So yeah, let's switch all you. Go into you. Actually, nah, 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 nah. We can, we can, we're gonna withdraw you. We're just gonna lead this guy right here. Uh, do we need to intimidate? There's a lot of special attackers. I'm gonna bring in Mew, and then I could go Choice Scarf with him for the EQs and all that good stuff. So I think that is gonna be the play, and we're gonna get rocking out after these guys with this team. Cause I was, this was gonna be my plan. I was gonna be like, all right, yo, let's go in Tailwind. If he brings that in DD, then we can just swap into Coco easily and rock out from there just to prevent some expanded forces. But or a high ball. We're like, yo, I thought this was gonna work, so we're gonna stick with it. <laughs> That's our plan. We're gonna go Coco and Raichu. See if we can Dynamax Raichu right off the rip. And he's gonna go with dun, 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 dun. these two. Okay. These two Pokemans. Mans of Pokies he's gonna rock out with. So he has a Zam. Alkazam. He might swap. I'm not even gonna lie. He might actually end up swapping into the NDD. Just to get off a big old expanded force. Big old expanded force. We get a defense boost, but he's, he's full of special attackers here. Filled with them. He's filled with them. Uh, we could just Dynamax, which I am going to do. I could just Rising Voltage instead. Wouldn't that do more damage? Hmm. Move is doubled. But then Max Lightning is still 140. So I am just going to go into a Max Lightning. Back out with that. And then I could just Wild Charge. I could go into an Acrobat. Hmm. Could protect too. 
Um, I could double up. I am gonna end up doubling up into you. Just in case you're sash, because this thing is a glass can, just like Gengar. Here goes the always oh, withdrawing into that slot, and he gonna he gonna go into. We go into Indeedee. Okay, so there's the Indeedee swap, and yo, I totally thought, I totally thought he was gonna go into uh, swap the Regilecki. You know? But that's totally fine. We're going for a max lightning into that slot. He is gonna get that special defense boost, and we're gonna swap terrains up, back in our favor, back in our favor. Regilecki is a little scary, but I. I I think we're fine with him. I think we're fine with him because he's just electric moves. He might e web. He might try to slow us down. That might be his play from there. Let's just see how this one plays out. Because Regilecki is a glass cannon as well. Same thing with Alkazam, Gengar, and Regilecki. They just they hit like trucks. They're really good, but their defense is really really bad. E web's gonna come out here, slow us down a little bit, and I, I'm fine with that. I'm actually not too not too bad about it. Let's see if the surge is gonna help us out after this. Here's a wild charge, getting after it. Ye Doing some damage and hopefully this is able to pick up the KO. Raichu, can you do it? Actually, maybe not. He has special defense boost. Let's see how this one happens. No, dude, special defense boost helping him out tremendously. Definitely helping him out. That's huge for him. That's huge. Indeed, he's probably gonna be able to outspeed, but I can't expand any force now. Nice. Could go for a max strike. It could go for a mindstorm. What's Jeans wanna do here? I really do like having this lightning out on the field. I don't want to change up the terrain. I really don't want to change up the terrain, so I might just protect. He's probably just going to E-Web again, right? I could... Oh, I should have went for an Acrobat. That could have been a play, because it would have inflicted massive damage. I end up withdrawing the uh, Ndidi and going back into the Alkazam. Or showing his last Pokemon. Nope, going back into the Alkazam. That's totally fine. E-Web going to come out here? Nope, Rising Voltage is going to pop here. And... Take out our Coco. Ooh. Ooh. 30 damage right there. Big old damage. Uh, Lightning is going to fly through onto the Regilecki slot. Which I, I'm kind of fine with. kind of fine with. Brings it down to the Sash, yo. Brings it down to the Sash. He, he's not Sash. Yo, my man's ain't Sash. He just survived on one for some reason. Yo, what you mean? What you mean? Get this thing out of here. Get this thing out of here. Inner focus is going to pop, so no Intimidate is going to come out there. Um, Rock Slide might be play here for us. Rock Slide might be play. Is Rock Slide going to be play? Going to Max Lightning and just Rock Slide? Because I would love to go into an EQ, but I, I can't choice into it. I really cannot. That's super effective to my Gengar and the rest of my team. going to end up withdrawing you, and he's going to go out to from here. Indeedee, probably. Yep, there's that Indeedee. Hopefully, Choice Scarf Landers outspeeds and we get a flinch. That could be big. That could be big. Let's see this happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Rock Slide's popping. Bang, 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 bang. We get rid of the Indeedee. Give me the flinch on the Alkazam. Give me the flinch on him. Give me the flinch on this guy. We can set it up for terrain again. Nope, no flinch. Command of Force, eat. The boys eat. The boys eat all day. Gotta love it. Boys eat. Max Lightning flying through here. We take Terrain back. We take out Alkazam. No problem. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Raichu now outspeeds everything. And I can't swap Terrain because my Dynamax turns are over. I can go into a Psychic easily. Outspeed Regilecki. Take him out. And we're sitting real pretty here. The boy's sitting real pretty here. Depending on his last Pokemon. Oh, wait. He still has Dynamax, doesn't he? We're not sitting real pretty. Game ain't over yet. <laughs> I totally forgot. He hasn't used that yet. There's this. We have Gengar. We do have Gengar. We do have lovely little Gengar. Okay. Is Choice Scarf Landers out speeding? Just Fragilecki. That's the real question. Good Nuzzle. I think Nuzzle is going to be the player. Drop a slide. Because I think Choice Scarf Lando is going to outspeed that Fragilecki. He can't really hit him, actually. I know my what's called is going to be able to outspeed. I know my Raichu is going to be able to outspeed and get off this nozzle, which is going to be huge for us. It's going to be huge. Oh, when he Dynamaxes the Regil. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, this is last ditch effort here. Last ditch effort over here. Let's see what he does. Our side's going to come through here. Urge Food avoids it. Thank you. You hit the Regilecki. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. Just to hit the Regilecki. I, I didn't care about the Urge Get him out of here. But did he click Dynamax on the wrong Pokemon? 
Or do you guys think that was just like his play? One HP on the uh on the Regilecki and he Dynamax it? Definitely threw me off a lot. Definitely threw me off a lot. He's gonna be able to drop a wicked blow here and KO on my Raichu. That's totally fine. We're gonna be able to bring out Gengar here, who's gonna be able to outspeed and pretty much finish up this battle, no problem. Should be fine with this one. We have our sludge bomb ready to rock out. We have the speed. We have two Pokemon. He's gotta get paralyzed at least one of these turns. I'm not playing around with this. But I wanna Dynamax to Urshifu. I wonder I wonder what, what it was. I wonder if that was like, okay, this is my last ditch effort. Or like, I don't know. I wonder. I really do wonder. Here goes our rock slide. We have a chance for flinch here as well. We have a chance for flinch and paralyze. And here goes our sludge bomb. Sludge bomb should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Let's see it. Make it happen. There it is. That's GG's. Gengar comes out here. Slaps up on the Urshfu. Picks us up a win in battle number two. And now we are sitting at one and one. We can hop into our third and final battle. Look for that winning record for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Looking for that winning record for you guys. Going up against a Crobat and Gorgeist team. Gotta love it. He's got some cool Pokemon on the team. He also has Sableye, Quagsire, who's this cool Pokemon off meta. You don't really see it. Then he has the Laners and the Nihilego. So he might lead or end up leading the uh, Crobat for a Tailwind. I could totally see that happening. That could be a thing. So I kind of want to go into U2. Get these boys buzzing again. Just have the Landers, which I don't really like. I don't really like that Landers. Kind of scaring me. So do I still bring in these two? Because if he brings in Landers, that, could, that can definitely do me dirty. That can definitely do me dirty. Could go Arcanine here, but I think uh, having uh, Landers would be a little bit better. And then do we just go Gengar again? Hmm. What does your boy want to do? Actually, let's go here. Let's withdraw all of you. Let's give let's give this Tailwind Gengar thing another shot. Let's give that a little a little go. We're gonna lead these two. Um, like I said, I definitely want to intimidate Pokemon, so we are gonna bring in Landorus. And then do we go Raichu? I do like having Raichu here. Yeah, let's run it. Let's bring in Magnet Raichu. Get him rocking in here. Try to get ourselves a win and a winning record for today's video. But I'm really I'm really liking Crobat. I definitely want to get my hands on a Crobat team very, very soon. So if you guys have a Crobat team, leave it in my Instagram DMs. I would love to check it out. Love to get my hands on it. Maybe make a video for it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. But Crobat is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. He's just such cool evolution. He's got the four wings. He's just dope all around. This is dope looking Pokemon. Good for any occasion. But who's he going to lead? You're gonna end up leading the Sableye and Quagsire, which I have no idea what he could possibly do here. I know one thing. I know he can fake out. I am gonna go for my Tailwind, and I am going to do I Dynamax or do I just save my Dynamax? I could end up saving my Dynamax. Nah, we gonna Dynamax. We're gonna go for G Max Terror. I really do want to get after this uh, Sableye here. I can't go for a Max Ooze. This wouldn't be bad. Actually, it's not very effective to move. So, yeah, we're going to go for this Terror. Try to get rid of you. Once we get off this Tailwind, we should be sitting fine. I don't really see a team having too much speed. But I'm just confused of what that Quagsire can do. Sableye, we kind of already know what Pesters it has. It can Quash, it can Fake Out, it can throw Burns, it can change weather. It can do all that stuff. But Quagsire, I have no clue. I have no clue what abilities he learns, what moves he learns. All I know is he's watering ground. That's all I know. That's all I know. Let's see. Is he going to Dynamax Quag? He does not. He's going to protect him. Hey, dude. Your boy's fine with that turn. He's going to fake out or are we going to get off the tail? We get off a lovely little tail. I love him. Okay. So he ends up protecting. I'm going to go after him next turn. And I'm going to just G-Max Terror and try to get off as much damage as possible. Can this thing Sash? It could be Sash. I don't know. We didn't We didn't do enough HP. There's the Terror. Uh, we can no longer escape. And we're going to lose a little bit of HP here. He goes out. Ooh, yo, this thing's eating up a berry. Eating up a berry. I still think an air slash should be able to pick up the KO onto that thing after the weak berry. Mmm. Mmm. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Air slash is special. We might not be able to pick up KO here. Still gonna go after it that way. I could set the terrain for our boys to come out and, and, and have some fun. But we're gonna get after this Quagsire now. Probably gonna snarl up again, which 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 stinks, man. Did not expect that thing to be Rocket Snarl. But smart play by him to go into that, roll after it, and and uh essentially just set himself up for victory. 
Come on, gangs. Come on, Gengar. You got this, baby. Need a big crit out of you. Crit would be lovely, but I don't see it happening. I'm trying to think, what what can I do to kind of flip these this situation around? He's just gonna outweigh our Dynamax. That's gonna be huge for him. You guys are terror. That is huge. Was that a crit? Was that a crit? Well, that thing's just a glass. That thing is made of glass. Get him out of here. That's that's huge. That's huge for the Gengar. Air Slash can come out here. Show me the KO. Show it to me. Oh, give me the flinch. There's the flinch, baby. Flinch comes out. Huge. We can take him out next turn. No problem with the Air Slash. And I get off my last Dynamax turn with uh, this Gengar. And I kind of want to drop a Lightning just so I get that Surge Surf with my Raichu later. That could be good. That could be really good. But I think we're just going to drop it regardless. Let's just see who he's going to throw out here. Whom are you going to throw out here? If it's a physical, we could throw out a heat wave. It's going to be gore, guys. It's going to be gore, guys. And in that case, I am just going to air slash on the U. Actually, I would rather G-Max Terror. Mm. I really want this lightning. I think lightning would be the play, right? But I think we're just going to two air slash, and I think we're just going to lightning and finish you off. Cause can he can go he can go get a grassy terrain. Is it really worth it? But he could guard at the same time. What I want to do? Uh, I gotta go back again. Go here, Terra slash over here, and just G Max Terra over on the U. Okay, we got the click. We got the click last second. See, that's just like it's a scary, it's a scary thing. He is gonna die next, so I think we did make the right play. Because again, I really want that electric surge, but I was like. We go for electric surge. He can just get a grassy terrain out there, get the grass surge rolling, and just cancel us out. It would just cancel us out and make our turn useless. So I'd rather get off the G-Max Terror. Try to get off as much damage as I possibly can before my Gengar does drop out here. Because we have speed as of right now, unless he's quashing. There's Quash. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. Here's my air slash. We get rid of you. Three Quash, and he's going to be able to take out my Gengar, no problem. So that's his turn. That's his place. That's how he's getting after it. There's the Phantasm. Eat it somehow. Eat it. Tasty snack. Tasty snack. Nope. Gengar eats no snacks. He never eats any snacks. <laughs> Defense drop. And he's going to be able to rock out. Um, That thing's special, right? I believe it's special, yeah. But I am going to save my Intimidate. I could go into you, but... Who else is he rocking? That's real question. We got rid of Sableye. We got rid of Quagsire. I think this would be our play right now. We'd be going to Choice Scarfing. It's definitely going to be our play. Because he's going to show his last Pokemon. It's down to a 2v3 with him Dynamax. So it's it's pretty close here. It's really close here. Hopefully he throws out a physical attacker. Yep. Okay. We're going to go Intimidate for Intimidate. That's totally fine. Intimidate for Intimidate. Okay. Um, Definitely got to dip out here. I definitely gotta dip out here with a fly. Would fly be my best option? I can't go into an EQ, so fly might be my best option. I could go into a heat wave. Try to get off a burn. If I get off a burn, that'd be lovely. Now I'm gonna fly and go into a heat wave. If I dip out and waste one turn, we can be sitting real nice. Actually, I don't know, considering. I mean, he can't go into an EQ. He can't go into his uh his ground moves. But I would have to get rid of him because Ra Raichu doesn't really stand a good chance up against him. Not at all. Not at all. Let's see how this one plays out. Solid battles in today's video. The first battle was really good. We ended up losing. Second battle was great. We ended up winning. This one's a really good battle. They're just all around good battles. Not where like one guy's just dominating left and right. Here goes our heat wave. Heat wave, give me a burn on Lando. Nope. No burn comes out here. I'm gonna avoid this attack. And I think he's going to go... I'm hoping he goes after my, uh... My Landers. No, he doesn't. Are you kidding me? He predicts a fly. You just predict a fly. He just predicted a fly. That's tough news. Does Landers still get a defense drop? If he's up there? Tailwind Peter's out. Okay, we do not get a defense drop. And we don't have our Tailwind. Ouch. Ouch. We do have a Fake Out, though. Fake Out could be big. Fake out could be big. We're definitely going to drop our fake out. Is there a terrain? Is this, is there a terrain out here? No terrain. Alright, let's rock it. Let's get after it. 
Baking out. We're doing it. Bake you out so you're not allowed to do anything. And this is his last turn in his time now. I wonder who he's going after. Is he going after Lando? I would think he's going to go after Lando, but let's just see. Let's just see. Such a good battle here. Gorg guys, big old problem. Big old problem for us. I always like to use uh, Life Orb uh, Landers. I feel like that's always really good. This is a great all-around Pokemon. Or any Pokemon that has Life Orb that is flying type is always really strong because you get that speed boost and it's stab all around. Big Flinch comes out there and he's going to go for a max strike to slow us down. That was a great play. That KOs me. Oh my lord. That was an easy KO. It's a crit. Come on, man. Come on, man. This dude really gets a crit on me. I need I needed that Pokemon to win this one. <laughs> this dude really gets a crit. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna have to fly. I'm choosing to a fly. So it's like I have to go for this. So if he has protect, it's pretty much gonna be over here. We dipping. We flying again. This will be able to take out Gore, guys. And I wonder what landers. Is he choice into a rock slide? That could be big. Uh, that could be ant for us. That could be ant for us. I mean, that move does have a high chance of missing. So I'm kind of hoping he's choice into a rock slide because it's not stab. That would be our only chance to win it is if he's choice. He can't go for a ground move on me, which is pretty nice. Let's just see how this one plays out. We're faster, so this 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 turn right here doesn't do anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna be near. He's gonna miss both stacks. It's guaranteed. Oh, or he shadow sneaks. So yeah, there's that. He shadow sneaks, gets off a nice little shot. Just love a little fly. Shadow sneak. Ooh, fancy man. He might be choice to a rock. This core guy doesn't have protect. We win. Or no, we don't win. We 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 just have a better chance of winning. What am I saying? We win. Beans, what are you thinking? But if he has protect and he protects here, he wins easily. Shadow Sneak comes out here. Okay. Cool. Might be choice. The one up into a Shadow Sneak. Fly comes out here. Bang, get him out of here. Rock slide, miss. Rock slide, miss. Rock slide, need you to miss. Miss. Rock slide, miss. Nope, Rock slide connects. I should be able to eat that, right? Eat that. I think we need him to miss it. We... We might be able to eat one more rock side. We might be able to eat up one more rock side. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. We might be able to eat up another rock side. If not, it has a chance of missing. Oh, he's not choiced. He is not choiced. That son of a gun. <laughs> I'm going to fly. I'm going to miss. He's going to come down, fly, and win. I can't do anything. He can just do that again next turn, even if we eat. Nope, there's GG. Yo, great plays by him. Solid third and final battle. Came down to the wire, and we ended up going one and two for today's video. Awesome set of battles for today's video. We ended up going one and two with one win and two losses, which isn't too bad considering all the battles were solid. They came down to the wire, and they were great all-around battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. One last shout out to my boy Matt for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. I loved it all around. It was fun using the Gengar and especially fun using that Alolan Raichu. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.